start doing my intros on the way to the lake. That way I can just save some time when I get there. There's really no wind out right now that I can see. It's currently 74 degrees outside, according to my truck. I'm going to Brown's Ravine because the, the launch ramps over there at the Granite Bay side, we're kind of at a, a stage right now where the water is dropping and we're kind of in between ramps. I'm gonna head over to the island where I got that three pounder last week. There's a, a huge rocky point that's actually pretty shallow coming out of there. And I'm not necessarily wanting to fish on top of that point, but the drop offs on the side, they're going from like a foot to two foot to you know 20 so I'm thinking maybe I can I don't know throw a spook or a popper or something along that edge that's the game plan for now I can change as soon as we hit the water and I'll see you guys on the water We're launching out of Hobie Cove now. I just spoke with a guy out here, goes by the name of John Walsh. And we were talking about good spots to do some top water. And, and I told him I couldn't really think of anywhere to go. And he said, shoot, dude, just start right here at these rocks, man. I'm just gonna start out with this uh, bluegill pattern. I don't even know, when, just this bluegill tail, I guess I, I should say. Pop it right here at this, uh, right here at the ramp. See if we can get something on these rocks. So let's see if we can get us uh, something on top water here. What's good depth right here? Nine feet. I don't know what, last week I had a, a duck that was following my popper. Oh, yeah, those ducks don't look like they're chasing each other. They look like they're just chasing bait. driving up to the spot here in 30 feet found a huge uh, huge ledge with a brush pile and about four or five bass or I don't know if they're bass four or five fish over that brush pile boat sitting in 22 where I marked it was like I don't know 30 something like 34 foot Switch to a PB and J jig with a brown cinnamon and purple flake uh, double paddle tail or double uh, grub tail. Eat me, I'm just a crawdad bouncing on the rocks. Just bouncing on the rocks. Wow, that little plane up there is sputtering, dude. It's going to put, 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 put. That don't sound good. Y'all are gonna die. Alright, let's go up a little bit closer and try a spook. We're gonna have to find some creek channels or something, man. This is... It's just odd that I haven't gotten any bites anywhere yet. Man, 
You would think there would just be at least something. You see that? That was a carp. That is the still. Are you still there? That's a carp, dude. I have never, never seen a carp. He came up and hit that. That was a big one. What the fuck? I've never had a carp come up and hit a spook. You see that ripple come after it? That was cool, man. Wow. Like a fucking shark coming after that thing, dude. Great, so my only bite for today has been off of a carp on top water. That's not great. Anybody ever catch a carp on a spook before? So gnarly, dude. I mean, I've caught, that wasn't a catfish, that was a carp. Let's turn this around. Let's get, get out of here and go fish a little bit deeper. I found a rock pile right in front of us. The boat is sitting in 22 feet. The rock pile looks to be about 25, so. Ooh, I got one on. I might have one on. Yeah, I think I do. Got him. Boy, I did not get a good hook set on him either. He doesn't feel big though. Oh, he's getting bigger. Yeah, I think I'll need the net for him. Or I'm going to use the net for him. Right on the rock pile, way off of shore. There he is. Oh, he's not that big, but we'll keep her. Okay, we're gonna call this guy a pound and pound and a half. He's a good one. I just wanna get him back in the water real quick. All right, bud. All right, he's gone. I didn't wanna weigh him uh, because I gut hooked him. I just wanted to get him in the water really quick. With this water going down, they're letting out a ton of water. And the fish just back off. You know, except for the little guys, you may find the occasional big and shallow, like, I don't know, around a rock or a tree or something here at Folsom. But I feel like for the most part, the majority of them, when this water is dropping this quick, and I'm talking a couple of feet a week, I, I, I feel like the fish just pull off of everything. And even with it, even if this water wasn't this clear and, you know, it wasn't this hot, I feel like with this water dropping as fast as it does, I feel like it just, it just, they're just, it's gonna cause those, uh, it's gonna cause those bass just to pull off. I mean, the water's coming down quick, a couple feet a week, man, out here. It's all about finding structure, and every week the structure changes. Last week I pulled a three and a, a pounder and missed about five or six a bunch of others off of that buoy that's now in about 15 to 18 feet they're just not there they're gone they're moving every single week so every single week you can't go find a spot and the next week have it be the exact same I'm gonna try this ledge here. There's a nice little ledge on the side of this. Uh, I'm on Peter Point right now. And there is an island top that's at about 40 feet out this way. And there's some good ledge where I'm picking up a couple of fish on the ledge in about 25 feet. Oh, there's one. Just had a hit. Damn. Missed him. I think I got one. Got him. There's 
a nice one. Nice little keeper. Not a pounder. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I must have been snagged again because my sinker's gone. Nice little pounder. Thank you, sir. I'll let you go. Gonna go on that ledge again. That one was out of 27 feet. Uh, the first one was out of, uh, I think about 27.7 actually. But right now, there is an island top that's out that way in about 42 feet of water. And what I'm doing is I'm fishing the ledge. There's an island top and then there's a, a steep ledge right here. And I missed one and I got one right here on this ledge. There he hit. Got him. Little guy. Or he's swimming right at the boat one there. I think he's doing a little bit of a little bit of both. He's getting bigger. Oh no, he's little. So cute. Well, I guess they all can't be keepers. That one I cast in 33 foot of water and I picked them up in about 26. Not a bad one. Another small keeper. Oh, he is spitting up shad too. Look at that. Boy, he is just darting. Let's try and boat flip him. Oh, oh nope. He was not ready to come up. There he is. Another good one. Another keeper. Another solid pound and a quarter. I'm gonna say he's about 1.3. Not bad. All right, bro. I'm not gonna weigh him. Unless I'm, you know, you're getting close to, you know, two and a half to three pounds. I'm not going to weigh him. I kind of like dropping them from about here, especially when I'm pulling out of 30. That rush of water just through their gills really seems to bring them out and just get them to shoot straight down. You know, I used to just put them in real gentle, but a lot of them, for some reason, they just want to sit there and then they end up going sideways and stuff. So drop them like that and they just... I think that Russia, that surge of water going through their gills just gets them going, man. Gets them fired up. Working on a limit, son. And it is only, ooh, it's 10.15. I didn't think it was that late. Got four, missed a few. Our three keepers were probably sitting at about close to five. Anybody else notice this with their Navionics? I look on Folsom's website, or it's not even Folsom's website, it's the state of California's website for what the current water level is, the elevation. And right now, normally at full pool, this lake should be sitting at 466 feet of elevation. And right now it's at 430 feet of elevation meaning that it's 36 feet below full pool. So I set my Navionics map options to minus 36 feet and I drive to the island tops. I'm supposed to be at an island top that's at 30 feet and it's at 53. It's like 23 feet off. Like I'm looking for island tops that are supposed to be in the 30 foot range and they're at 55. So I go to the island tops that are supposed to be in 10 foot range and they're in 30. So I'm gonna have to like 
I add on another 23 feet to my Navionics map options. So that it's basically just like minus, I don't know, 15 feet away from full pool on the map option to get about the correct depth. That, that's a little fucked up. Why, do I, why am I paying like $50 a year for this shit when it's that messed up? So this is what I'm talking about. Folsom Lake right now. Elevation, 466 feet. We're currently at 430 feet. So we're down 36 feet right now, right? And I'll put that uh, screenshot up on the, on the screen here. So we're minus 36 feet. So you go into the map options on your Navionics. Map options. And you go to the water correction level. Let me get to it, where did it go? Okay, so you can see the water level is minus 36 feet. And we are sitting on an island top right now that should be 14 feet. Look at this, I'm in 37 damn feet. 14 feet. 14 right there if you can't see, 14 foot on an island. There's a rock. There's fish. 37.7 feet, man. What the fuck, dude? So basically what I need to go in here, 37 minus 14 is 23 feet. So let's go back into the map options here and add on 23 feet to this. So 23, that puts us at 23, at 13 feet. So let's put this at minus 13 feet which is completely freaking wrong. So now that shows 37 feet. And guess what, that shows 37 feet. So I don't come out here to do math. I need to look at these damn charts and know what I'm looking at. What I want is between 20 and 30 feet, which is my light blue areas right here. So I'm gonna go hit this island top right there. But you see how you can waste all that damn time? This can be such a time saver or it could be a time killer. I wanna fish these uh, all around this island top right there in the blue. It's got access to deep water and shallow water. That's kind of ideally what I'm looking for. And that's how I, how I can search this. But if my fucking maps are wrong, if Navionics is wrong, man, it just makes it all sorts of fucked up. So I'm coming up on this island here, and look, now there's hazard buoys there. I'll be darned, see, that's how I find what I need to fish. But if, but if the Navionics is wrong, it just makes it almost pointless, and it makes it dangerous, man. Do any of you guys run into this, run into this kind of problem? Oh, there's one. Got him. Ta-da! And that's how I locate summertime bass. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but that's what I do. All right, next. Found a nice rock pile right at 30 feet. Four fish sitting on it. That's a good one. I thought I was stuck on a rock at first. That's a good one. This one might be worth weighing. I don't think he's like a four pound or nothing, but I think he's better than like a two or right around a two. 
He's solid. Oh yeah, he's pulling good. Okay, he's pulling good. There we go. Take your time, bud. I'm not forcing you. Daddy's not forcing you. Take your time. This is a good one. There he is. done friends look at that bad boy yes sir yes sir Another three pounder. He spawned it. She spawned out though. I just found a whole pile of them, dude, on a rock pile. Found a pile on a pile, man. I think something was swimming with my worm. Yep, I got him. Got another one. She was. Another one swimming with my worm, dude. There it is. Hell yeah. Not a big one like last time, but another keeper. Dude, we got a limit today, son. Finding those isolated rock piles, bro. That's what it's all about. Boom, just pops right out. Fucking love that, dude. No need to weigh him. He's about, this is by far the smallest keeper of the day. Uh, it's a good pounder. All right, baby. Let's let you go. I'm gonna drop you again. Yeah, dude, I think that works really good. I think that surge of water goes right through their gills and they just take off. Gotta keep, gotta limit today. Limiting out, bro, in summer. Hard to beat that and it's only it's 12:10. Wow, I just found a shit ton of bait fish. Like my entire screen was clouded in 30 feet. And I am picking up all sorts of little fishies around it. So this is gonna be my last spot. Oh, I hate these charts on garmin man terrible 27 foot come on man that is the magic number oh i think i had a tap i think he might be on yep this is fish got him small one jeez they're getting smaller g money he jumped out of the water you guys didn't catch that well there's fish here but definitely not the size i'm after that is uh that's a little surprising because i've seen some quality fish on my graphs over here my day is done it is just after one o'clock not a bad day i think i ended the day with eight eight or nine i know i got a limit of keepers for the most part most of them were between between one and two pounds i got four no i got three that went over about a pound and a half or more and i got one that was right at uh it was two nine it was it was bouncing between 2.91 and 2.97 so i locked it in at 291 so we'll call it a 291 but close enough to three pounds and it's the same old same old uh summer pattern out here at Folsom. The bigger ones because the water levels are dropping and the water is so clear it's 10 feet plus of visibility 
and it normally you know not today is there's a little bit of cloud cover today but it's still hot there's still a lot of boats out here just a shit ton of boats and i think that keeps the fish you know a little bit deeper especially in the summertime the surface temp right now is about 79 not as hot as it was last week because of the cloud cover so it's actually it's actually quite nice uh, i'm not sweating my ass off completely this week so it's not bad the pattern is the same 25 to 35 feet uh structure uh as soon as you find rock piles on either ledges or on points or just any isolated structure between 25 35 feet you're gonna get bass everywhere i went today that's that's i, I got hits that way um on every single stop except for this morning when i first started out on top water i got nothing on top water well i take that back I got a, a damn carp to follow in my spook. I've never had that happen before. It is this big fat log just followed in my spook, creating a wake behind it. I hope my GoPro picks it up because it was really cool. And uh, I stopped my spook. The carp turned around. Carp said, fuck it, I want it. Came back and actually lipped it. You know, I could see its ugly ass mouth try and grab my spook, but their mouths are this big, you know, and it just, it didn't take it and it got scared you know it saw me and took off i've never had a carp chase any of my lures before so that was a first that was kind of neat i hope my gopro shows it i doubt it uh but well i'll have to wait and see i think i ended my day right around eight pounds eight and a half somewhere in there uh close to a three pound kicker hard to complain about that not a bad day looking forward to getting out here and uh, finding more more rock piles isolated structure that sort of thing I've been on a, a roll lately. The last four trips, I've had fish that, that were three pound plus at least hit my bait or had them on. So um, the last four trips have been pretty good so far to me. Last week, I got a three, got her in the boat. This week, got another three in the boat, right at three, pretty close to three, close enough. The week before that, I had one that went four plus. Pretty sure the grody ass sucker that you guys will have seen by the time this video comes out I think that grody ass bass was the one that hit mine, even though it did not have that leader in its mouth. I mean, it was 105 out, and the thing must have been sitting on the surface for about an hour. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know the decomp decomposition of a bass at 105 degrees sitting on top of the water for an hour. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but this is a little coincidental. I was fishing in that area and then all of a sudden a four pounder just surfaces, you know, and dies, or just a four pound bass surfaces and it's in the same location as uh, where I lost that one. So I kind of think it was the same one, but I don't know, man, maybe it was too grody. Hopefully one of you guys have mentioned that, whether it was or, or wasn't, I don't know, but I weighed it, it was 4.16. That's about what I thought it was, about a four pounder, so wouldn't be surprised if it was wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't i don't know all i know is i had a good one on and uh that's it for the day thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week